So after delta, let's learn gamma. Gamma is the change in delta due to a change in the price. For instance, an option with a delta of 0.2 means that for every five points change in the underlying, the option will move by one rupee. However, as the market moves, the delta itself changes. So for instance, if the market moves significantly, the delta may rise to 0.5 or even higher and that amplifying the change in option price. So 0.2 to 0.5 delta, we need to understand the reason of the change in the delta that is called the gamma. So gamma is usually highest when the option is at the money because when the price is very close to the strike, even a small move in the stock can flip the option to valuable. So that's when delta changes the fastest and the gamma is the highest. We need to keep in mind that as the price moves far away from the strike, either deep in the money or out of the money, gamma reduces. Delta becomes more stable. So if you are an option buyer, high gamma can be great near expiry. And because you want delta to move fast in your favor, and you are happier if there is a gamma blast. But if you are an option seller, highest gamma or higher gamma is risky. So option buyer always love the gamma spike, but seller always fear and afraid from the gamma spike. Because small move can suddenly make option go in the money, changing your p &L quickly. And that's why seller fears from the gamma risk. Especially near expiry, gamma gets wild. That's when even a single rupee move can cause big delta shift. Let's understand the gamma with an example. You buy a call option on Nifty. And let's say the market is at 22,000 and you are selecting 22,000 strike. Understand the delta is 0.5 since we are selecting at the money option and gamma is 0 0.02 and option premium is 100. So now what does gamma do? So gamma tells us how much delta will change when Nifty moves by one. So if Nifty let's say moves by one rupees from 22,000 to 22,001, delta will increase from 0.5 to 0.52. So if Nifty goes to 22,002, delta will increase from 0.5 to 0.54 and then 0.55 or 0.56 and so on. So this is how the gamma changes the delta itself. So basically delta is not fixed. It keeps adjusting as the market moves and the gamma controls that adjustment. So now delta has increased, which means your option price will start reacting faster to the market movement or the Nifty's movement. So that's gamma in action and it shows the acceleration of the delta. So to sum up, Gamma is all about change in the delta itself. Higher the gamma, that indicates the delta move will be sharper and faster. Lower the gamma, that means delta move will be comparatively lower. So gamma is all about the acceleration of the options or acceleration of the delta, delta itself. So the gamma is an important part and I believe most of the expiry traders, they always keep the gamma blast or the gamma risk in mind to get the swings or immediate surge or spike in the market. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.